Hello everyone and welcome to Dublin, Ireland. It is my first time in Ireland. I'm super excited to be here. I just landed. Uh, I took like a 10 and a half hour flight to get here, so I'm super tired, a little jet lag. But we're gonna head to St. Patrick's Cathedral, which is about a 15 minute walk. Hopefully get some coffee. I don't really know how open uh, Ireland right now is with COVID restrictions and everything. But yeah, we're gonna walk out and check out some of the touristy areas first and uh, just walk around and explore kind of with no plan and be open to uh, whatever Ireland has to offer. I'm super excited to be here though. I've always wanted to go to Dublin. So uh, let's go check it out and explore the beautiful city of Dublin, Ireland. Okay, no, nope. I'm trying to get arrested in Ireland. I mean, this is a beautiful architecture right here. I was just expecting like a, I don't know if I'm actually right or not. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate because I call this a castle, but on maps, it literally says Dublin Castle is right here. And it could be, I just have no idea. It's beautiful though. The architecture is very pretty. I'm not really sure what vibe Dublin is giving off. I've been here for 20, 30 minutes in the city at least. And uh, I don't know, it doesn't really remind me of anything else. Definitely not really getting a, a European vibe right now though. But like I said, I've been here for 20, 30 minutes. Like right now, this just doesn't give me Europe vibes. But I'm also in a really weird area. But I do, I like it here. It's, uh, it's beautiful, the architecture is really nice. It's just a little colder than I expected. But uh, I just want to find some coffee. We're gonna try to get some local coffee. Last time I was in Europe and I wanted to get local coffee by myself. I got Cafe Nero, which is a brand or a chain, and I got yelled at for it. So we're gonna try to get some actual local coffee. I'm just not too familiar what's local and what's a uh, chain, but I'm gonna try my best. I'll do some research this time. To my right is Christ Church Cathedral. Beautiful looking cathedral, beautiful architecture. Even this park is closed. It says open seven days a week, but uh, it's gated off. There's a lot of people out and about. I just. I don't see any stores open or restaurants. Everything is closed. This might just be an exclusively outdoors video <laughs> in Ireland. Hello. Morning. Morning. The accent. <laughs> The yeah, accent. I love it. Guys, there's Cafe Nero. That place is forever gonna haunt me. Forever gonna haunt me. I can never escape Cafe Nero. The, the British people won't let me. Up here to the right is Grafton, Grafton Street. And this is another touristy area, I'm pretty sure. So we'll walk here, maybe find some coffee, who knows. Uh, I won't get my hopes up. I don't wanna make this video dedicated to coffee, sorry, I'll, ch I'll, I'll change the subject. But we're just gonna walk on Grafton Street, explore and see what the hype is all about here. And then we'll go to the library after that. Well, at least this is open so far. We're approaching uh, Trinity College. We're gonna go to the Trini Trinity College Library. Also, I got yelled at for saying construction. I don't know what the proper term is, but like, 
uh, in America, that's just what we use. We just take instruction. But yeah, there's a lot of like, they're working on the campus. I'm like paranoid of the, the terminology I use now. It's like a judged and harassed. <laughs> um, also the library, this is the Berkeley library, but I'm pretty sure there's our own separate library. We're gonna go in here and see if, well, let's see if this is even open and we can go in the library. Okay, well, everything is freaking locked. I'm gonna title this video Alone in Dublin, Ireland because I truly feel alone. Like, obviously I travel alone and I've been in cities alone and solo. But this is the first time where like it's such an empty feel to a city even in like when i travel to other cities during 7 a.m 8 a.m whatever it is you know there's people outside it's pretty lively the shops are open but everything is dead here there's not a lot of people how are you can I do a medium cafe latte to go, please take away? Mm -hmm. Do you like the coffee medium or dark though? Uh, medium then. Too bad. Yeah, we've got something else. Uh, what do you have? Can I just do a croissant? Croissant, yeah. yeah. That take away as well, yeah? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of hot coffee. I usually go with iced coffee. But it's cold outside and my hands are cold. And got a cafe latte. It's pretty good. I'm also, insomnia kind of gave me um, chain vibes. And if it is, I'm terribly sorry. But that was the only thing that was open right now. Everything else was closed. And I just wanted a coffee. This is actually super peaceful. I'm grateful for this coffee. Got a nice little pond here. The birds are out and about and chirping. And this beautiful path right here. And we're truly alone in Dublin. Cheers. What more can you ask for? Smells. It might be me, but some over here. It smells. I decided we're gonna do it. We're gonna head to Dublin Bay. It's a 52 minute walk one way. And uh, what better way to explore a city than to walk? So we got a two and a half mile walk. We ended up in a quieter neighborhood. It's more peaceful, not as many people outside now. It smells like a dumpster fart. Not a good scent. We are entering a neighborhood called Irish Town. We're about 10 minutes from Dublin Bay. It's actually kind of getting a little warm outside, like I should take this off. And I'm debating if I should swim. I'm gonna check out the vibe and see what kind of beach it is. But also at the same time, I feel like, YOLO, you need to at least jump in, you know, water at least once in every country or whatever. So I kind of want to, even though it's gonna be the biggest regret of my life. I don't know, we'll see. Dublin Bay Sean Moore Park. Okay, so it goes all the way around that way and then all the way around that way. Oh my gosh. Whew. Ah. 
Ah, that stinks. It smells like seagull poop, dog poop, and a dead squirrel, all in one. It's not pleasant. This is beautiful though. Just a bunch of dog, it's like a dog bark. Oh my gosh, that smell. That's not fun. Not having a good time with this smell. Whew. Ugh. All right, let's go get some food. I just found on Google Maps that's Aviva Stadium. Stadium in Dublin owned by the Irish, Irish Rugby Football Union. So it's a stadium. It's a really cool looking stadium too. How are you? Could I do the chicken avocado sandwich, please? Sure. And that'll well, be it. Uh, olive chiabata, plain chiabata. Um, I'll do olive, please. Olive. Thank you. Ah, nice. Nice. Very good. <laughs> Delicious. I need to get better at like vlogging when I'm sitting down next to people because that cafe was really small and there's people like on both sides of me and it was super uncomfortable. But I actually was talking to the people to my left and they were super friendly. It was three Irish guys and the accents are like super strong. Like I honestly struggle to understand them. It's English, but they talk with such like a strong accent to uh, American accent. So it's almost like a different language, but it's English. And I was struggling kind of to understand them, but they're super friendly. All right, I'm going to conclude the video there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I was just exploring Dublin alone and uh, checking out some of the touristy areas. It was kind of closed, which was a little frustrating, but I still enjoyed the city. I'm here for a couple more days so I'll have more videos on this channel and on my main channel. Uh, check out my Instagram at Trainton2 and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.